Well, what up, my amazing peeps? Hello, hello, I'm Priscilla Freed, and welcome to day number four of our 12 Days of Christmas. So what have we been doing? In case you're just joining us, 12 Days of Christmas, well, if you're on, this is day four, I have been giving you a workout for each of these first four days. I divided the 12 Days of Christmas into three different gifts to help you just have the most amazing holiday season and start the new year on the right foot. So the first part is our different workouts I'm giving you that will carry you through into mid-January actually, okay? So this is four of the four workouts I'm giving you. Then tomorrow we will go into our second third of the 12 days of Christmas and we'll be talking about maximizing your metabolism. I've got different strategies and recipes, different tips for you to help you not gain weight and feel really amazing going into the new year. And then the last third are whole life hacks. And these are tips that I have received that I've been learning from our amazing conference speakers who are coming here, Summit 2020, Expand Your Vision. It's going to be January 24th and 25th. And there, there are strategies to really help you have the fullest, best life you can have in 2020. There are tips and strategies on having the best financial wellness, having the best relationships, having the healthiest mindset, and, and more. So don't you don't want to miss that. So you'll get three different gifts. This is number four of my fitness gift to you, okay? So here it is. This is the last one. This is the toughest one, I would say. This is where you want to, basically you have five exercises, and you're going to do as many rounds as you can do in 15 minutes. That's your challenge. Now, what I wrote in this guide is that you want to try to beat your number of rounds every time you do this workout. So that's the great challenge for you. All right, let me demo the exercises. The first one is a banded deadlift. Oh, left my band up here. Okay. Banded deadlift. So what you're going to do now, depending on the kind of band you have, I have a full loop here. You might have a tube with handles. You're going to put it underneath your feet. All right. You're going to grab it. And that deadlift, you want to hinge. Okay. It's not a squat. So don't bend your knee. You just unlock those knees and you come up and press your pelvis forward and squeeze your glutes. So it's hinge, squeeze the glutes. Hinge, squeeze the glutes. Okay. So that is, and you can do this if you don't have a band, but you have dumbbells, we'll absolutely go for the dumbbell deadlift, okay? So that's your first one. Those are, you want eight reps, by the way, eight reps of everything. Second thing you're going to do are blast off push-ups. Now these are challenging, okay? Don't freak out when you see these, All right? The blast off push-ups is where you're going to come down and then come up and you do a little hop with your hands, down and up, okay? So some of them might call them plyo push-ups. Now, if that's really hard on you, no problem. You can do a regular push-up, on, even on your knees. You can also do a push-up against a bench. That would be fine too, okay? Push-up against a bench. So do what works for you. I'm not gonna say you do you. That really annoys me. I just said it, but. <laughs> and if I offended anybody who says do, you do you, I apologize, but uh, yes, you do you. Okay, anyway, <laughs> skater squats is next. You can do skater squats or split squats, just depending on, you know, where you're at. So skater squats, you can do a big swing and you want to squat down and land into that squat, okay? So I, that didn't make any sense. Skate and land into that single leg squat, okay? But you can also do split squats if you want, okay? So you're going to uh, reverse lunges, I should say, all right, where you're coming back like this if that impact is too much laterally, all right? So that's your next one. All right, then you have banded hammer curls. Again, if you just have dumbbells, you can totally do, and a hammer curl is when you keep your palms in, you can totally do dumbbell curls. But of course, if you've got a band, put it underneath your feet, and then you can Pull up. Oh, this one's really hard. I can't even do it with one foot in and, or even it looped. I'm going to work on this. This is going to be my challenge. And you're going to come up and down. Okay? So that's your banded curl. And last but not least is you have band chops. Eight reps each. Now, 
So what you want to do with that, if you have a band, you want to attach it to something, okay? So just for the ease of demoing, you attach it about chest height, you hold on to it, and you are chopping, okay? So you can go side or you can go down, okay? And then you turn around, of course, and you do the other side, all right? You come in, uh, you can go straight across, you can go straight down, work on those obliques. Now, if you are not able to attach it to anything, then there's some other things you can do, okay? You can do a chop when you put your hands together and go side to side like this. Now, this is quite challenging. Really, really works your core. You can absolutely do that with a weight, probably something lighter than an eight pound, more like a five, all right? And you can chop that way. So those are some ideas if you don't have a way to attach the band to do the chop, okay? So there you go. Those are your five exercises. This one is quite challenging when you want to try to finish a bunch and, and, and see how many rounds you can do in the 15 minutes, all right? So that was workout number four. You've got all four workouts. Again, download the Holiday Survival Guide so you've got the whole plan. There are other tips and strategies, and these are some things that I will be uh, teaching you and filling you more in on than obviously what's in the guide. So be sure to download it. I'll see you tomorrow for the very first Maximize Your Metabolism strategy. Okay, looking forward to it. Take care. Bye-bye.